I just wanted to express some things that were not sitting right with my spirit. Uh, now that I'm about the sunken place, I can think and I could just be yay and just express how I feel. There's a couple things that I want to address. Uh, first of all, I want to address Nick Cannon. Like, I understand that uh, you used to date my wife, but you know, you get in an interview, don't mention my wife. If someone brings my wife up, you say, hey, I respect that man. I'm not speaking on that. Don't be making no suggestions like nobody. Now, the next thing is with Drake. Yeah, I told you uh, that if I wasn't in a medicated state, I might've had the, the thoughts to, now, if I wasn't in a medicated state, I might have thought and had the wherewithal to say, now, if I wasn't in a medicated state, I might have thought and had the wherewithal to say, hey, Pusha, don't diss Drake on my beat. And I, and I spoke about that and took accountability for that. Now, what I need, what I'm looking for for my spirit to take accountability is the fact that it's people making rumors, not saying nothing and you carrying it like that, that don't sit well with my spirit. You know, if I had a girlfriend from Chicago, her name was Renita, and then you was married to Rihanna, I wouldn't make no song called Riri. So when you're like, oh, I don't know where it come from. You too smart for that, bro. You know where that come from. Don't make no record with nothing that could be confused. Now I told you, I didn't tell Pusha no information about your baby, baby mama, nothing like that. That didn't come from me. But when you played that record for me in the studio that said, yo, we got some Kylie's, we got some Kendall's. I told you, Travis is your man. Don't make no record. I told you, Travis is your man. Don't make no record like that. That man just had a baby with her. That's gonna be offensive. That's gonna be offensive to her. I hit Trav about the ecstasy uh, record and made sure that we was all good, that we know we, we, we family, right? So I did tell you not to do that. So period, it's like, don't speak on none of nobody from my family, nothing that could be even with my wife. Period. We don't have to talk again. I'm not giving no energy to that, but I'm telling you that. And also, as far as Tyson Beckford go, don't speak on my wife, bro. Like, none of y'all speak on my wife. Period. What are you talking about? I'm married. We in love. We a family. Y'all be promoting all that, like, negativity on social media. It don't sit right with my soul. It don't sit right for my spirit. And as men, all three of y'all, y'all come talk to me. Y'all holla at me. We'll work it out. We'll come to a resolution. It's fine, but don't that it just don't sit right with me. And I had to express that to y'all. And cause, cause it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like I get on the phone. So I had to express it to you like this. Nick Cannon, Drake, Tyson Beckford. All that wasn't sitting right with me. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn from Kenya, East of Africa. And guys, you're very welcome to my channel. In case this is over the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel so that I can always stay updated whenever something happens concerning celebrities. And also, in case you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for always coming back to support my hustle. I don't take it for granted. Anyway, straight to today's video. As you can see, I just came across this video of uh, uh Kanye West back then uh, this video is not recent guys and you all know that Kanye and Kim Kardashian have had quite a uh, walk because you all know they dated from 20 2014 to 2022 I just confirmed that today somewhere and you all know after that their journey ended their love journey they just decided to go their separate ways you all know that Kanye is even married has even married again uh, her lovely wife Bianca Sensori and you all know that Kim Kardashian had a boyfriend and all that stuff but they Pete Davidson but you all know they broke up so I just came across of this video back then when Kanye used to love Kim you all know that Kanye used to love Kim Kardashian you all know that Kanye is even the one which you you all did you all know, did you know that uh, Kanye is a fashion designer? So we all know that he's the one who changed Kim uh, who changed Kim's fashion uh, to what it is today. And you all know that Kim admits that publicly. And you all know that Kanye knows a lot with fashion. Look at him, Yeezy, and all these uh, big brands. So uh, Kanye was just addressing a few people because you all know that he's a man. Who does who likes to express what he feels no matter what it is and on this video 
of back then before they broke up with kim kardashian she was just addressing few people uh drake and nick cannon i think these are the people whom kanye you know saw as threat because he said that nick cannon used to date his ex-wife kim kardashian he also said that you know and uh, it seems like drake also uh, it seems like drake also wanted kim kardashian so kanye was just addressing them publicly because you all, you all know that this man can say anything and he told nick cannon that in as much as uh he he used to date his his former wife uh kim kardashian he just said to tell him that you know nothing can happen between them he has to respect you know their relationship and all that stuff he also told drake in as much as he be dissing riri uh rihanna because you all know that rihanna and drake used to date back then so he, he kanye told him in as much as uh he did all these people you know he should not overstep boundaries he should he should always respect his family uh in everything that he does and because you all know that uh drake is one person who mentioned people in his song so and he was just telling him that you know he should never speak about his wife he should respect his wife and all that stuff anyway i don't know what you all think about you know kanye just talking about uh some of these few, few things that were disturbing him you know and he addressed uh drake nick cannon and tyson the phone i don't know what you all think just go ahead in the comment section and tell me what do you think about everything kanye said to them regarding you know respecting kim kardashian their whole relationship and the whole marriage and all that stuff because you all know that right now they broke up you know they divorced and all that stuff but they still co-parent because they have four children together but you know uh this video he was just uh you know talking to some few people whom you know he thought uh, wanted the wife or something anyway that's all for now i'll update you in one